yesterday. Scissors cutting, an old singer sewing machine spinning. These sounds remind me of my grandmother, always mending, whether for others or herself. These are your grandpa's favorite trousers. Another stitch here and voila, good as new. Beside her sewing, I'd linger, listening to her tales and asking her many questions. Back then, I couldn't tell what anchored me there, but I sensed its comforting feeling. Now I understand. It was passion, love and bond. The bond between us. The bond between her and the worn garments that she tenderly repaired. Between her and her beloved ones. It took a long journey in my life around the globe to fully appreciate this connection, found again here in Northern Ireland, where that same spirit thrives among people who love to repair, nurture and share. A hole may loom in my life, but I hold the needle to mend it. Today, Unraveled, the story of a jumper, Author Marcella Di Palo, illustrator Kira Finnegan, editor Colin O'Mahony. I have served my role in this life honestly, loyally and with integrity. I come from good stock, you could say. However, I was becoming tired, worn down, worn out and just plain old tired. I started developing a hole. This hole was draining energy from me. My partner, my owner, wasn't very excited to choose me from among her clothes anymore. And I could tell she was upset about it because we really had an extraordinary time together. I had seen other objects in the house being dismissed and I was wondering what was happening to them. This hole needed love, attention and repair to bring back my vitality. This whole situation had gone on for too long. But still, I wasn't ready to give up. I had so much more to give and serve. My soul was dynamic and teeming with potential. Big enough and with enough energy for a second chance to shine in this life. I was lucky that my partner also had a strong soul and wasn't hesitant to keep taking great care of me. She took me to a place where souls and holes went to get mended. Going in, I was nervous. However, I had a chance to mix with other pre-loved souls who were in a similar position. We were attended to by fixers, carers and repairers. Creative minds working to give us new purpose. We had new life breathed into us at a time when we thought our vitality was waning. We were transformed. I was transformed. The day got even more exciting when I realized that we were back home, but not just me and my partner. She had found new members of the family. A beanie hat that would match with my colors, a hot water bottle cover, and a cushion cover. All from the same old treasure, a pretty and loved jumper like me. This hole was repaired, and the soul of my partner had new life breathed into it. So, if you have something that you love, something a bit worn or in need of some loving care and restoration, go to find those spaces where the souls and holes are repaired. It's all part of the circle of life. This story was produced with the support of the Artitude Climate, Culture and Circularity Project, with funding from the National Lottery Climate Action Fund, for more information on the Artitude Project, please visit the Playhouse website.
with much gratitude to Claire Mulvaney, who planted the seeds from which this story of change has grown. <laughs>